visit eaglerunnerbill.com. Eagle Runner Bill here. I have this voltage stabilizer on the back of this instrument cluster. I don't really know what it does, but my instruments aren't working, so I'm going to go ahead and change it out. I found it on eBay. You see my output from the stabilizer is giving me 12 volts. Exactly what my battery input is, is what I'm seeing out on the instrument. So anyways, I found this on eBay. It was like $15. It's got to be there for battery, I guess, and an I for instrument. And I guess I'll just install it right here. It only has needs one screw to mount it. See what it does. Like I said, I couldn't find any real information. Some places I looked said the output of this was going to be a pulsating. DC outlook there as usual the connections aren't right it needs a female terminal end knife splice or knife terminal and that's not what I got here so let me see if I have one and put a new terminal on here so it'll fit I don't have the right size all I have are the yellows which I believe are 10 to 12 gauge wire and you see how large that is might have a hard time so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip the wire over on top of the insulation and that way both of them will fit right in the crimp and I should get a good hard connection there go ahead and crimp it and I'm all I'm going to I put two crimps in one in the front to hold the wire one in the back to grip the insulator to hold it in place give it more strength and of course now the wire is too short for me to hook up to the box so let me see if I remove the wire from the terminal which that's the input for your fuel quantity go ahead and hook it up and then I'm going to go ahead and bend that terminal Go ahead and bend that terminal down and hook that wire back up to the fuel quantity gauge. And we ought to be all set. It's just going to make it harder when you go to take it apart. I find my lock washer went flying. Go ahead and put the terminal nut back on it. And we'll see what it does. Like I said, I really haven't been able to find much information on this. So both my gauges are not working. So I'm going to change this just to see what happens. That wasn't that expensive. So I got it on there. Let me hook up my battery power. Get my voltmeter and see what I read for an output on this thing. Yeah, come over here. It's reading 8 climbing up to what my battery voltage is then it blinks on down to 8 again and climbs back up maybe that's that pulsating DC is supposed to be the output anyways we'll see what happens that's changing the voltage stabilizer or some people call it the instrument voltage regulator and there's my output voltage Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.